All right, so now that we've defined uh, TCP position orientation, we're going to talk about the theory of planes, uh, especially the, the subtleties that will matter to you uh, as you define your projects. Uh, notice that in order to define your plane, you don't have to have a TCP orientation, just the correct position offset for your TCP. And we're going to talk about how to define the origin. We're going to talk about the x-axis and we're going to talk about the y-axis direction and basically how the cross products of these things are uh, going to define your plane and, and why that matters. All right, so now to discuss the uh, theory of planes. Um, and so in order to define a plane, uh, you have to, you come in here in Polyscope to the plane feature and you hit plane and now we have this plane and, and you have really uh, two options, uh, which are nice. You can either edit the plane if you know the position and rotation matrix of the plane. Uh, but if you don't, you can actually use this wizard to teach this plane. And that's kind of what we're going to be covering today. Um, so it says here that you need, you know, the origin, the x-axis, and a y-direction. So what do they mean by this y-direction and not y-axis? So let's say we were trying to define a plane like this, right? Uh, you might think that you have to define your origin, define your x, and then define your y, that they are all, you know, orthogonal 90 degrees, uh, relative to each other, but that's actually not how it works because it would be very hard for you to com perfectly define, uh, you know, an, an axis like this. Your features, your feature may not allow it. So the way it works is that you definitely do start with your origin, right? And once you have your origin defined, then you're going to define your X point here, right? Uh, then once you define your X point, this can going to define your origin and your x-axis. So the x-axis could be anywhere like this. Now the y-axis is actually going to be a direction. And then what, they, what it means by that is that you want to pick a point in your plane, right? So if I was defining this, I would go want to go away from my x-axis as possible and sort of centered around the x-axis here so that it would give me uh, the best average of the tilt of this plane. Because what you, what the wizard is going to do in the background is it will calculate the cross product of these two unit vectors uh, and that will be the z-axis and once it has the z-axis then it will use the cross product of the x and the z to actually get its you know y-axis in this in this direction here and that's those three unit vectors are what's going to make up your rotation matrix and essentially be converted to uh, the rotation vector and, and an angle. Um, so the, the key here is that you want to pick a long axis for your X because that's going to set your origin. I mean, your origin and your direction of the, of the plane and then choose somewhere in the middle for your tilt. So the way I think about this is if I have it like this, right? I have my origin, my X axis will set uh, you know, the direction, and then the y-axis will set my tilt. Uh, and so that is how I think about the planes, and, and that's why it matters how you define them. And that's why they say x-axis and y-direction and not y-axis. All right, so now we're going to discuss the details behind uh, the definition of a plane. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our TCP, again, the orientation. In this case, we have an orientation defined, but that doesn't matter. You could do it without that, but you do have to have a well-defined position. So you have your well-defined position. You're going to go here to features, right? And we're going to hit plane and we're going to want to teach this plane. So for demonstration purposes, I have this uh, sketch here, which in which the uh, axis has a uh, about a 25 degree rotation. So it's actually skewed like this. So this should be pretty instrumental in to show how, how all of this process works. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define the origin, which is going to be right over here. So we're going to want to go next and we say set position. So we're going to set position again here. The, the joystick will help uh, and Notice that I don't, it doesn't matter what orientation the, uh, the, the dispenser is in. We're going to now come down here and 
we want to line up basically this. So now I'm getting close. Uh, and now I'm going to get closer using the actual step mode. And so I will, uh, using the step mode, get to where I'm right on the paper. And then I will get the origin. So the origin looks pretty good right there. And get, we're going to move a little bit that way. And a little bit this way. And so, you know, you want to do this as obviously as close as possible. So that is a good point for my origin. So I'm going to say, okay, right. So now I have to set, so I go next and it says, okay, where is your X axis? So that's great. So I'm going to go here to set the position of my X axis. So I'll move up a little bit because if this plane is not well defined, you're not going to move per perfectly parallel to this. So you want to move up so that you don't bend, you know, you don't, you want to make sure you don't bend your tip. Because if you bend your tip, you know, that means that you have to start over with your TCP calibration and you're starting over with, with the whole definition of the plane. So uh, now I'm going to move again incrementally down. And you want to do this patiently because, as I mentioned, you bend that tip and this whole process is uh, starting over. So now that I'm there... All right, so that looks perfectly aligned on the X. Now notice I didn't have to go all the way to the end, but the further out you go, the better, right? You know, the less uh, margin of error you have. So uh, you say, okay, next. And now I'm setting the Y, the direction of the positive Y axis. So again, here, I don't need to be 90 degrees, but it does matter that the height is set properly. So I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna move somewhere here around you know midpoint of my plane here like somewhere around middle of the x-axis and now i want to come down very carefully right i'm coming down very carefully and so let's say that's good there and i can say set position okay and next and finish. So now I have a well-defined uh, plane. So now if I move here, right, because my TCP uh, is like this, it will align this TCP like that, right? So if I go here and I say move here, right, it's going to align to the origin and it will align the TCP in this direction. And then what's really cool is if I go here to the move tab and I say I'm moving relative to this new plane one, right? If I move in the X axis, it's going to move along perfectly along the X direction, move X minus, moves perfectly along the X direction. And if I move Y positive, it's going to move perfectly across the Y direction and same thing coming back. So that is a perfectly well-defined plane and the basis for you know, now that you have a well-calibrated TCP and a well-calibrated plane, you can start doing accurate dispensing. And uh, essentially, that searing offset of the TCP is what, this, what the wire tank uh, tip calibration station will automate.